The Muslim women in Singapore have got no rights at all. They have no rights, they have got nothing. And the men can do what they like. They can even take two, three wives or whatever. So it's the women who suffer and suffer. Then I used to get all these complaints from this, some of the women and all that. Then I thought, we must do something. Otherwise, this will go on and the women will suffer and suffer. Every morning when I'm going to my office, there, I reach my office, there are all some of these women sitting at the steps waiting for me. And some has got wound. The husband had beaten them. And I told them, must go to the hospital first. And then he come, no, I want to show you. Without the women's knowledge, the woman don't know anything. She's at home and he has gone off somewhere. He said he's going for work somewhere. Suddenly the divorce paper comes. You know what a shock it is. Some of the women can die like that. And, and, and then no, no maintenance, no nothing and they're left on their own. How can this be? After all, the women have served as a wife, mother, and then you just abandon them and their children. Muslim Women Welfare Council. I started that and got a group of educated Muslim women. We get together and then we said, we must help those unfortunate, unprivileged women. Otherwise, they will suffer, their children will suffer. In 1958, the government set up the Sharia court. It helped a lot of women and children. And the men also just cannot say, I divorce you, I divorce you, finish. It's not allowed. Even if he says that, is not allowed. The government will not allow. You have to go through the procedure. So that was a very good thing that we did. We fought for that. It helped so many women and children.